in the series of learning programming in C. In the previous video, I have discussed while loop, basics about while loop, the general syntax of while loop, uh, the working of while loop with the help of flowchart as well as we have seen a program, the basics, right? Now, we can do many things with while loop. It's not like that, whatever syntax we have uh, written in the previous video, that is the only way to write while loop, no. In many ways, you can write while loop and See, this, whatever I am going to discuss in this video, that would be really helpful for you if you want to explore, if you want to, you know, learn in deep about these looping statements, about while loop, right? Because from this part, whatever I am going to discuss in this video, generally they ask questions in placements, in interview and any competitive exam, right? The, those kind of questions, the, in, uh, sorry, the program would be given, a code would be given, small code, four or five lines and you are asked to tell output of that code. So in that thing, in that in, the, in those questions they will not write down the you know simple while loop this is a general syntax and just write down while loop and ask you what is the output of this program no they will do some other kind of you know because you can say those questions would be tricky they will write while loop in different different ways and you think that this is not syntax of while loop so this must be an error but no that will not give you error that will definitely give you some output maybe not that output uh, you want but maybe some abnormal behavior that will show but it will not give you error so those things i will discuss in this video right so now let us discuss in how many ways we can write while loop see first of all what was general syntax of while loop we write while this is a keyword here we write some condition termination condition here this is what here i'm going to write some statements or you can say this is body of loop right and uh, here only we write what that modify or update expression you can say that increment or decrement and after that that's it the initialization is before the condition right all the three things which is important for any loop is initialization condition termination condition and mod modify and update expression or increment or decrement in for loop we write all the three things at one place but in while loop we write different different places here initialization then condition then within this log, uh, body of the loop uh, we write that increment or decrement right this is general syntax of while loop now see if we write something like this i starting from 1 i less than uh, 10 printf i am going to print i and then i plus plus then what output you, you will get here 1 from 1 it is going to start 1 2 3 up to 9 it will print it will not print 10 because condition is i less than 10 not i less than equal to 10 so 1 to 9 it is going to print right this is what according to the syntax i am going everything fine here according to the syntax but suppose if i write something like this now condition is i am putting i equal to equal to 1 so first see i would be initialized as 1 in the memory that this is i condition is i equal to equal to 1 this is the equality condition i am going to check is i equal to 1 yes condition is true then control will enter here and i value would be printed on output screen you will get 1 now plus plus i you can write i plus plus or plus plus i here in this case both are same means i becomes now 2 again going to check the condition right i equal to equal to 1 is 2 equal to 1 no condition is false directly control will go out of the loop and what would be printed now end of program that would be on your screen 1 and end of program right now this is what equality condition but some somewhere it is also written something like this i equal to 1 now what output you will get see at starting i is 1 here i equal to 1 this is what assignment operator you are using this is not any condition assignment operator means the value of the right hand side whatever the value that would be assigned to the variable that is on left hand side now 1 would be assigned to i right now i becomes 1 again it is 1 but again it is assigning the value so it is 1 now here we have 1 1 means true always if here other than 0 you write anything 1 2 3 minus uh, 11 minus 12 anything then that would be considered as true if you write 0 then only it, it will be false so now 1 means true it will print i that is 1 would be printed now i plus plus i means i becomes 2 now again check the condition condition is what i equal to 1 again assignment operator so in i i am going to assign again the value 1 so i value becomes again 1 right condition is true again it will print 1 i plus plus means 2 again check the condition but it is i is equal to 1 again it will become what 1 right so now again it will print 1 so now what do you think is it going to end no it would be infinite loop because condition will always be true so it will print infinite time 1111 1, 1, 1 on your screen 
right. So, please take care of this thing double equal to and single equal to. If you want to check the equality condition double equal to you have to write here, right. And if you write here something like this, see same if I write here something like this while 1, you are doing you are uh, you are doing what hard coding the while 1 you are writing in your program only this condition will always be true, right. If you write here like 10 or 1 suppose 10 is here. So, while 1 condition is true 10 would be printed on your screen plus plus i it becomes 11 right. Now, while 1 condition is true now 11 would be printed on your screen i plus plus 12 while 1 condition is true you are not giving any termination condition it is not going to end. So, it will print what 10 11 12 like this it will print. So, it would be an infinite loop and see what it will print it is not like that it will it will it is going to print till infinity yeah it will print within a range within which range the range of the integer range of integer is what minus 3 2 7 6 8 2 3 2 7 6 7. So, once it will reach till 3 2 7 6 7 it is not going to print 3 2 7 6 8 3 2 7 6 9 then what it will print see this is what circle of signed int. So, once value becomes 3 to 7 6 7 it will print what minus values minus 3 to 7 6 8 minus 3 to 7 6 7 like this minus 1 then again 0 then again this this would be an infinite loop but values would be printed within this integer range only right. You can see the output now uh, after running this program but but single difference is what I am putting here i not 1 I am just putting i here. Now, you think that you are not giving any condition here. So, it would be an infinite loop, but not it would not be an infinite loop. So, now where it is going to end C <coughs> here i is 10 suppose i is 10 at starting while i i means 10 anything other than 0 considered as true 10 is true. So, 10 would be printed i plus plus i means it becomes 11. Now, again 11 that is also true 11 would be printed 12 again 12 is also true 12 would be printed 13 and this is going to uh, no uh, it is going to like this 10 uh, 11 12 13 14 but hey, what where it is going to end once the value would be reached till 3 to 7 6 7 like it is going to print if you want to print vertical then you have to use slash in here otherwise it will print horizontal. So, now after that some time it will print at one time it will print 3 to 7 6 7 after that i plus plus means it will become minus 3 to 7 6 8. So, minus 3 to 7 6 8 it would be printed again minus 3 to 7 6 7 and till like this minus 3 minus 2 minus 1. Now, at one time value of i becomes minus 1 plus plus i now it becomes 0. So, now here the value of i is 0. Now, check while i is 0, 0 means condition is false now it is going to stop means now it will print what end of program till minus 1 it is going to print right. So, it is not infinite loop please take care of this thing still you are not giving any condition here you are not giving any condition but still it is not infinite loop it is already a condition because at one time definitely i value would become 0 and once i value becomes 0 it is going to end I hope you are getting these concepts right. Next thing what you can do with this is suppose I am not writing here this plus plus i. I am not writing any modify uh, ex expression here. So, now what will happen i is 10. So, now first what value would be printed here I am writing i only. So, 10 would be printed 10 10 is true 10 would be printed no plus plus or minus minus i right. Again control will go here i is what again 10 10 is true again 10 would be printed i is what again 10 10 would be printed. So, now it would be an infinite loop here also I am using i only difference is what I am not incrementing that i. If you will not increment that i then definitely i value would be remain same that is 10, 10 is always true. So, now it would be an infinite loop and it, it is going to print 10, 10, 10, 10 infinite number of times right. Next is what suppose I am writing here this condition i less than equal to 10 and I am not initializing this i here I am doing i plus plus here right 
condition I am writing, modify expression I am writing, I am not initializing this value 5. So, now I do not know what is value 5, right. So, now what it will print? i less than equal to 10. We do, we do not have any i value starting value. So, it is not going to print anything. It, it will just print end of program. Now, in this case I have some doubt. So, you run this program and tell me in comment box what output you are getting. Here, if you are writing something like this, no initialization, i less than equal to 10 condition is given and modify expression is also given, right. So, now here just only you will get end of program, right. Next thing what you can do here, suppose uh, you do not you don't write any condition here, i is equal to 1, but no condition here. But here it will give you error, it is not a valid syntax, right. It, it, it will give you compile time error, right. Next is what you can do, suppose here only I am writing i plus plus and I am removing this i plus plus from here and i is, uh, I am writing i is 0, right. Now what output you will get here, see at first time i is 0, right. Now you will think i plus plus means i becomes 1 and 1 is true so it will print 1, no. It is what post increment, post increment means what is the funda? First the original value of the ex, uh, of that variable would be used in the expression after that value would be modified. Original value of i is 0, 0 would be used here for the condition. Now 0 is what? False. So it is not going to enter into this loop. It is directly exit from the loop and what it will print? End of program, just end of program, right. In case I am writing here uh, this, this uh, plus plus i. Now, now it is what pre-increment, pre-increment means first the value of that variable would be incremented, after that the incremented or the updated value would be used, either it is incremented or decremented, whether you are using here plus plus i or minus minus i, right. Now I am using here plus plus i, so now value becomes 1 first, now 1 would be used for this expression, now 1 is what true, so it is going to print 1. Now again here I am not writing anything, so again it will check the condition, right. Plus plus i means it becomes 2 now, 2 is also true, 2 would be printed. Again plus plus i means 3, 3 is also true, 3 would be printed, right. Now tell me is it infinite loop or not? No, because this is i is integer variable, we have some range of integer in the, that range, we will somewhere. Uh, sometime at one time we will also definitely going to reach to 0 because I am incrementing i. So, 1, 2, 3 up to it will print this then minus values then till minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. After that plus plus i means it becomes 0, it is going to stop till minus 1 it is going to print. So, you can see the output after running this program, right. Now, next is what um, you can also use while loop with care data types. If you use character data type here then what output you will get, see. And see, tell me one thing, this is your assignment, if I write semicolon after this while loop, in that case what output you are getting, you have to tell me in comment box, right. Now I am doing this with character, I am using while loop with character. I hope you know the range of the character that is from minus 1 to 8 to uh, 1 to 7, right. This is the program, right. Now character value that is a, first of all the variable name is this one and a is stored, not exactly a is stored here the sky value of a is 97 that would be converted into binary form and that would be stored in memory, right. But here just for the understanding purpose I am writing a here while ch, ch is a, a is 97 that is true, ch would be printed here. So, means percentage d ch, so 97 would be printed here, sky value of a is uh, 97, right, right. Uh, next is ch plus plus means value becomes 98, so now here you can say 98 would be stored, 98. 98 or you can say B that is also true. So, now percentage D we are using so 98 would be printed. Then 99 something like this, but it is not infinite loop, right. Why so? Because range of integer is what? Sorry, range of character is what? 1 to 7, then after that 1 minus 128 minus 127 minus 126 something like this, right this is signed character, right. I am not using any uh, new signed or unsigned uh, keyword here, so that is considered uh, considered as signed character. So, now value becomes now, at one time value becomes 127, okay 127 would be printed after that plus plus means it is not going to be 128, it is going to be what minus 128, minus 127, minus 126 and minus 1. 
till minus 1 right now after that cs plus plus minus 1 after that value becomes a 0 so now here 0 0 means false and now control is going to exit from the loop and that, this is output and this is the output you are getting so it is not infinite loop here right but suppose here if you are writing percentage c then tell me what output you will get this is your second assignment you can consider it as an assignment write percentage c and tell me what output you are getting in this case right again if you are doing something like this and it is not always that you have to do plus plus here you can also write minus minus here same case suppose you are storing a here a means 97 97 is true 97 would be printed suppose i am using here percentage d 97 is printing here ch minus minus 97 now it becomes 96 not 98 96 is also true 96 would be printed here now it becomes 95 95 would be printed here something like this right and now at one time till 1 till 1 it is going to print right now minus minus 1 is 0 so now it will print till 1 97 to 1 in reverse order that's it and here we have an error after get set you have to use semicolon right you have to take care of these things and here also you can write down some, some constant positive or negative like minus 11 I am writing 11 I am writing or simply 0 or 1 I am writing or here you can use any condition like relational operator and as well as you can use uh, that logical operator also two conditions you can use right uh, so here I am writing logical end ch less than 1, 127 and i equal to equal to 0 i is one more variable I am taking there and there integer i right so if both the conditions are true then only it will consider it as a true if I am writing here i is equal to is equal to 1 but i is 0 here so this condition will always be false so if this is false then ultimately it is false and it is not going to enter into this while loop body not even uh, one time right because condition is at first time only i can the condition is false so it is going to exit from this loop so here you can use two or more conditions using some connector logical connectors also right so relational operator you can use or any variable you can write here simple variable or any constant value you can write here right and you can also do what nesting of while loop one while loop within this we can use another while loop another while loop that that is nesting right or you can use any if else statement within this while loop like here I am writing some condition while within this while I am writing some if or else conditions based on the output you want based of based on your requirement right that that thing we can also discuss when we will discuss some programs when we will write some programs using while loop or for, uh, for loop right so now this is what I guess that that's it but you can also do some experiments I, I cannot tell you everything here this is what I can just give you an uh, give you an overview these kind of things you can also do so try out different different things with while loop and see what output you are getting right and if in any questions you are getting any problem then you can uh, ask me in comment box or you can uh, ask me on your my instagram account you can message me there right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care